welcome to the video my friends i hope you're all doing well today i thought we'd go over our thoughts on the dead island 2 announcement and release date of the 3rd of february 2023 and whether we should be worried or not as it's had a troubled development as we know with originally announced in 2012 to be developed by jaeger development who are the creators of spec ops the line and recently the cycle frontier and then it was then moved on to, in 2015, Sumo Digital, who have uh, been around for a long time, I think since 2002, 2004, somewhere around there. Uh, most recently, I've been working on the Forza Horizon series, 4 and 5 most specifically. And now it is in the hands of Dan Buster Studios, who I suppose are most known for Homefront The Revolution, which didn't have the best of releases, but is, is not a terrible game, but it's definitely not one of the best games ever, that's for sure. And they are now in charge and developing and releasing Dead Island 2. So over a period of about eight years, we have seen it change hands three times now on its third development team. And we've seen this before with Duke Nukem Forever, which again, uh, this is repeated. A huge amount of hype was around the release trailer with the jogger in Dead Island 2. Exactly the same as with Duke Nukem Forever. And we're seeing a similar pattern here. So uh, there is a little bit of worry uh, to say that this game might not be... Uh, as good as we had hoped originally. That's not to say that the Dead Island series weren't breaking any grounds anyway. They were very janky in my opinion. They were definitely not 10 out of 10 games Dead Island and then Riptide shortly followed. And then we have the Definitive Editions released in 2016. Uh, but they were definitely super fun games to play co-op with some friends. So if at least Dead Island 2 can offer us a visual upgrade in that California setting, but with the fun that the original games offered in that co-op experience, I think a lot of the community will be happy that have waited for Dead Island 2. But if they can't crack that original fun factor that Dead Island had playing with your friends, I think we're on to a, a big old fail. But it does look good from the gameplay we've seen. The cinematic trailer that we were offered definitely isn't as good and impactful as the original Dead Island cinematic trailer. But uh, this uh, new trailer for gameplay, it looks pretty promising. Uh, and it's three-player co-op again uh, with this Dead Island 2 release. So we're still getting our co-op mode at least. So we just it's just waiting on whether the gameplay and the game is not totally broken, which today's uh, gaming era, we have uh, a very, very much broken games released and... We just look at the recent saints row launch which was just a, just an embarrassment to be honest that's just one game out of many that have relaunched uh, kind of broken um we could go on and on about that kind of thing in today's games and hopefully dead island 2 has um, massive support and uh, the uh, team dam buster studios really puts uh, puts their effort in and love and passion into dead island 2 because it's, it's, it's people want it to be extremely good and fun co-op it doesn't have to be a perfect game doesn't have to be a 10 out of 10, 9 out of 10, 8 out of 10. We get a good 6, 7 game, but co-op is extremely fun with varied and lots of content. Uh, loads of weapons to use, infected and to kill, you know, different infections, different zombies. I think people were, will, uh, enough to keep people invested and have a lot of fun with the co-op mode with friends. It's all people ask for. Recently, myself and Lokage did a bit of definitive edition on stream and had a hell of a lot of fun. We started out streaming a bit of Hunt Showdown. But my aim was off, so I, I weren't really having a good time. So we thought, let's change it up and play some Dead Island as we had it in store for a while and had a, a hell of a time. We were laughing pretty much the whole time. So if they can deliver that same experience where you're just laughing, giggling at what's going on in the game and uh, having just a general blast in co-op, Dan Buster won't have any worries. They won't have to worry about anything else. Co-op works, good zombie basher with mates. You're on to a winner. Yeah, let's be honest, uh, the original Dead Island is still infested with bugs, but it's a hell of a lot of fun. Even the Definitive Edition has a lot of bugs, but it's a lot of fun. So even if Dead Island 2 releases and has a few bugs, as long as that co-op is super fun, I'll say it again, co-op, super fun. You can play easily with your friends and not have any issues disconnecting all the time or anything silly like that. I'm going to use Saints Row 2022 as a reference here again. I don't want to give this game any light that it, it shouldn't have to be honest but the co-op people said they had a lot of fun in it but the co-op was so bad it kept disconnecting all the time there was issues stopping them on the main menu joining on to friends kicking you from friend sessions it was such a nightmare but while you're actually playing the game it's so much more fun co-op always makes games more fun and as gamers we all know this so let's hope the development team don't let us down on the network code and connectivity with co-op with our friends that is the major factor here 
With all that said, I will be picking up Dead Island 2. I played the original co-op on the 360 when it first came out, and I myself was as hyped up as many of you on that original trailer release for Dead Island 2 in hopes that it would be resurrected by some development team that would have the skills to deliver that original experience we had. And it does look good from that gameplay. Definitely looks like a game. In fact, I'm pretty sure Dan Buster Studios rebuilt it from the ground up. Do correct me if I'm wrong on that, but I'm pretty sure that's what I read somewhere. I've read so much about it, I can't remember where I read it, so I do apologize. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below on Dead Island 2. Anyway, are you hyped and going to buy it regardless? Are you just uh, just excited and happy to see the game that you uh, wanted to back when that original trailer released come to fruition? I know I certainly am and just hope that multiplayer works, co-op works, so I can play with friends and have a good laugh and just distract ourselves from real life for just a moment. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to hit that like button or dislike button. Subscribe if you want to continue to see the content I create. Don't forget to catch me live on Twitch at twitch.tv slash septicfalcon. Come and hang out with us in my Discord, joining conversations in gaming, tech, and entertainment, as well as shitposting a bunch of memes. That's always fun. I love you all, and I'll see you peeps next time. Everybody, won't you clap your hands? White folks, do it on time if you can. Sounds good, now here's the plan. Let's all sing together like we in the same band. I'm the bomb and about to blow up. 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 Now we're gonna reach another whole new level. Grabbing the light on the run from the devil.